we have ourselves a scrunchie. And now I can do this really fun shaking thing. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a really fun and quick, hopefully, project plan for today. So you know how there's been a huge trend surrounding heatless overnight curls, right? Like obviously heatless overnight curling has been a thing for literal centuries. I actually owe quite a big chunk of my career to heatless curling. <laughs> back in the 2000s, but it is really trending right now and I don't remember a time where there have been so many different types of overnight curling devices and tools available for sale. And one of the more popular ones is one of those satin like tubes almost that you're meant to fold over your head, wrap your head around and then tie with matching cute little scrunchies, leave it in your hair overnight and then you wake up with beautiful waves or curls. And even though it's really easy to achieve the same result with stuff that you already have lying around the house, I am always a huge advocate for socks. <laughs> they just work wonderfully. But I, I also understand how fun it is to use something that is meant especially for that purpose. So that is actually what I would like to make today. I want to make myself a heatless overnight curling set out of some leftover fabric. I'm gonna be using this little scrap here. This is just tiny little triangle, which is all I have left of those lilac gowns I made last year. If you would also like to make one of these, then you will need some type of slippery fabric, preferably a satin that is gonna be really gentle on your hair and ensure a smooth result when you use the product. So you could use a scrap of fabric, you could buy some fabric, or you could repurpose an old scarf. If you have a silk scarf lying around or something satin, kind of like a shiny, very smooth fabric like this, then that's perfect. It doesn't really matter what exactly it's made up of, as long as it's really nice and smooth. So I'm gonna use that. Then all the other stuff that you need is some of this like stuffed toy filling, pillow filling, just the, the like fiber fill, I guess, and some elastic. And that's everything. So let's make our way over to the cutting table and get started straight away. I'm gonna start by making the main item, which is the tube. So in order to do this with the shape of the fabric that I currently have, um, it pretty much needs to be this section of fabric. So I'm gonna just cut out a strip this length. It needs to become a rectangle, basically. This whole sewing project is made up of just rectangles, which makes it really, really easy. I'm gonna connect. These two. And once I have my rectangle, I'm going to fold it over so that the right sides are together. And I'm going to pin along this edge here, the top edge. So that's where you want to sew it. Now, when you are cutting out your rectangle, what you want to keep in mind is the thicker you make your tube, the bigger your curls will come out. Or alternatively, if your hair is on the thinner side, you will need a thicker tube in order to create waves. And a thinner tube will create more of a curl-like effect for you. With thicker hair, generally you will get waves with a thinner tube as well. Uh, but specifically, thin hair just doesn't have enough bulk on its own to create waves and you need a little bit of a thicker tube. So if you know that you want to go for a looser wave in your heatless curls, then make sure to make your rectangle a little bit wider and make your tube a little bit thicker. I'm just going for like a five centimeter maybe little rectangle here. So that will be about 10 in total. So now that I have my pins in, what I'm going to do next is sew along one of the sides here, all along here, and I'm gonna leave this edge open. But the other two sides, I'm gonna go ahead and stitch shut. By the way, when determining how long you need your strip to be, the easiest thing, honestly, is to just try it out, trial and error. Um, it doesn't need to be as long as you maybe think, but this also depends on the length of your hair. So I ended up with a tube that's gonna be about this long, which is plenty. But if you have longer hair or your hair is very thick, you might need a longer tube as well. It's very customizable when you make it yourself, so make use of that and uh, adjust the length, thickness and everything to your specific hair's needs. I'd 
like to take a little moment here to tell you a little bit about today's sponsor because this video is very kindly sponsored by Squarespace. If you ever find yourself in need of a website for your business, your online store, your portfolio, for your influencer career or just for yourself, Squarespace is a wonderful place to start. They are an online platform that allows you to build a website through a very simple beginner friendly and visual experience. They have loads and loads of different templates available on their website in different categories, different types of websites that you can start from and then completely customize to create your perfect website with all of the functionality and all of the looks that you're looking for. You could also choose to start from scratch or use their template builder to build your own website. Either way, it's really easy as you can simply look at your website, drag and drop different sections, add things where you need them and customize every single thing about your website, both on desktop and on mobile. They provide a ton of different functionalities for your website, such as selling, taking bookings, appointments, um, but also on the back end, they have really strong analytics that you can use to track your performance. So Squarespace is definitely worth checking out if you're looking to build yourself an online presence. You can go to squarespace.com to start a free trial, play around with the website builder, and then once you're ready to launch, you can go to squarespace.com loopsy and use code loopsy to get 10% off of your first purchase of a website or domain. Huge thank you to Squarespace once again for sponsoring this video. And now let's get back to sewing. Now we need to turn this tube inside out and I always find that easiest to do with the help of a really thick knitting needle uh, or you can just use any type of you know, long narrow object that you have. So I'm gonna start on the side that is actually closed up, create a little pocket for my needle and flip it inside out. Push it through to, to the other side and since this is such a slippery fabric, it shouldn't be too hard to do. We go. Once it's through to the other side you can just pull it through and then just go ahead and use that same knitting needle to straighten out the corners here. We have our tube. Now the next step is to fill this up with that fiber filling stuff. I have a huge bag of it here but you don't actually need that much. Stuff it into the opening on one end and then you can again just use your knitting needle or chopstick or whatever it is that you're using to push it all the way down to the end. And I'm just gonna keep adding more and more stuffing, pushing it all the way through until this entire tube is filled. Once we've made it to the end of our roll, we still have our raw end here at the edge. So what I'm gonna do is push that in, fold that inwards to create myself a clean little edge here, like that. And I'm just going to sew along this line. So just top stitch over this. Now, something else that's kind of important to note is when you're stuffing this, make sure that you stuff it firmly enough that it doesn't squish down too much. You want to be able to wrap your hair around this, but also don't stuff it so full that it no longer bends. So you need to find a little bit of a middle ground there, but let me go ahead, sew this up, and then we can start working on the scrunchies. curling tube here is done. So now let's make some scrunchies. I'm gonna make two and <laughs> since I have very limited fabric left, I'm just gonna see how much fabric I can get out of this. With a scrunchie, it doesn't really matter how much you use. Pretty much as long as it covers the elastic in its stretched out state, you're good to go. So I'm gonna try and once again, maybe get as much as possible out of this. So let me just cut it like that. Straight across, straight across here. Let's see if I can get another one of these this way. Not really. Okay, well, I'll just do however much I can get and just trim this one down a little bit. I do want them to be the same size, so I'm gonna cut this one down and then cut along here so that I have two rectangles that are approximately the same size. Now for the scrunchie, the process is very similar to what we did the first time. So I'm going to fold this in half with the right sides together and sew along the long edge of this. I'm going to leave both short ends open this time because that's where the elastic needs to go through. So I'm gonna sew this up and then I'll be back. Now I need to flip this inside out and you can once again use that knitting needle to help. 
The tube is done, so now we need our elastic. And for this, you're gonna want a length that can wrap around this wrapping tube, <laughs> I guess, at least twice. So let's see, but this length should be all right. And then I can also fit my hair in there as well. So I'm gonna cut off about this much, maybe a little bit more so that I can tie a knot in it. And I don't have to sew it. It's gonna make things a lot easier. I'm gonna grab a safety pin, attach it to one side of this elastic. And this is going to make threading this through the scrunchie a lot easier. So just going in on one side. I'm gonna scrunch it up until it comes out on the other side. Then I just tie a knot in this elastic here. And now all there's left to do is close up this tube. I'm gonna push one end into the other, flip this over so that the raw edge is turned towards the inside. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and top stitch over this. And that's a really simple way to make a scrunchie. We have ourselves a scrunchie, so now I'll just do that once more and then the set will be finished. And that is actually all there is to it. I now have my set of the curler and two scrunchies. Now, of course, we do need to put this to the test. So I will see you later this afternoon and we can give it a try. For overnight curling, I always start by dampening my hair and I personally like to use a little bit of setting lotion to do this. This is a hair product that basically helps to set your hair into a curl pattern. You don't have to use this, just a spray bottle with water is absolutely fine. Or you could use a mousse or some other type of setting product, but I'm gonna spritz down my entire hair with this until it's nice and damp. And then it's time to place the curler on top of my head. Now I'm gonna clamp this down with a little hair clip just to make sure that it doesn't move while I'm twisting my hair. And then I'm going to simply twist my hair around this. Now the outcome of your curls will depend on how you twist your hair around this. So if you twist your hair individually first, like twist it into almost a rope and then twist it around the curler, you will get more of a wave pattern. And if you wrap your hair flat like a ribbon around the hair curler, you will get more of a curl pattern. That is something to keep in mind, but I'm just taking section by section, twisting everything around this curler until I reach the end of my hair. And then I'm gonna tie it down with the scrunchie that I've made. And then I can remove the hair clip, go to bed, and I will see you tomorrow morning. And here we are. It looks a little bit worse, <laughs> obviously, than when I went to bed. It has kind of fallen down, at least on this side. And I did put the clip back in this morning when I woke up, just because I was worried it would fall out as I was going through my morning routine. But let's take a look at what this looks like. I did end up tying these ends together with another little hair elastic. I think maybe what I could have done in the sewing process is attached a little ribbon to the end of this so that I could tie it in the back. I think that would have just improved this design a little bit. So maybe if you're making this yourself at home, that is something to keep in mind. But let's take down the scrunchies and see the results. And now I can do this really fun shaking thing. Shake this loose. And there we have it. I say this is not bad at all. Really nice and bouncy waves. Now, of course, this will settle a little bit throughout the day and drop a little. I've obviously just taken it out. But yeah, definitely a good result. I think it's safe to say this works. <laughs> and I just absolutely adore the idea of overnight curls and just waking up with perfect hair, basically. I mean, taking this down took a few seconds, not even a full minute. And I have hair that looks done, like I spent a lot of time on it but both in the evening and in the morning. It barely takes any time at all. This is such a fantastic hairstyling method. So yeah, very happy with this. Oh, and as far as comfort goes and sleeping, this was pretty comfortable to sleep in. I was more worried about my hair slipping out of it than I was uh, uncomfortable, you know, lying on this. And that's the thing about the slippery material. It is good for your hair, but it's also, it doesn't provide a lot for your hair to hold on to. That's the whole point, but. <laughs> Especially with my shorter hair and I have some layers, it just felt a little bit, and yeah, you can, you can see just now that it did fall out at, at, on this side, um, at least on the front. So I was honestly more worried about it falling out than anything else. Comfort-wise, it was fine. What I maybe could have done is tied a scarf over it or worn a bonnet. I feel like that would have really helped to make this feel more sturdy and secure. And this was a really fun and easy, super quick project and a fantastic stash buster if you have any 
leftover satin. I also feel like this would make a great homemade gift for any maybe young girls in your life. Just a really fun little beauty item that you could personalize maybe. So yeah, that is uh, where we're gonna end today, guys. Thank you so much for being here. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see all of the other stuff that I will be up to in the upcoming months. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you so much for watching once again and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!